At the moment, Track IR has become the centre of attention due to their excellent but expensive head tracking equipment that is used with great success by the likes of Hydro Big Bang. But what if you don't want to spend around $150 US dollars on head tracking? Well, there are other options out there in the open source software and DIY space. Tracking cameras can track light from LEDs or be based on gyroscopic sensors. There are a few ways to go with IR emitter point models. You can buy a pre-made emitter or build one yourself. These point models can be made up of one to four LEDs in an array. Small online retailers such as TrackHat, Delan Clip, and Loop Clip have popped up and sell competitively priced IR emitters for use with all software. They even work with Track IR and in many ways are better than the natural point hardware. These come in many different designs from metal to 3D printed, USB powered to wireless battery powered, clips or even hats. If you are handy with a soldering iron, you can even make an IR emitter point model yourself. All you need are 1 to 4 IR LEDs, resistors, some wire, a little solder and a power supply, usually a battery or a USB connector. Point Tracker even has the default dimensions for the emitter model shown within its settings under the model tab. I have built an IR emitter point model with plastic tube and even coat hanger wire in the past. The type and style of IR point model vary, but all use IR LEDs to create points of light that the camera and software use to track your head movements. Another option instead of IR tracking is gyroscopic motion tracking such as Ed Tracker. Ed Tracker uses MEMS gyroscopic sensors like those found on your mobile phone to tell the phone when to rotate your display to track your head's movements. The Ed Tracker has a huge advantage of not needing any light source or webcam and is very responsive. In fact, the creator has shown evidence to suggest that Ed Tracker is actually more responsive than Track IR. The drawback of Ed Tracker's style of motion tracking is that it only works in three degrees of freedom, pitch, roll, and yaw. It cannot sense translation movements like shifting side to side or zooming in or out. A smartphone can be used to track your head's motion in the same way as Ed Tracker. By installing a small piece of software on your phone, included in the Lynx software package, you can transmit your head's position across a Wi-Fi network or Bluetooth to your computer. This works in almost the exact same way as Ed Tracker. It has the same advantages and disadvantages as Ed Tracker, as it has only three degrees of freedom. Unlike Ed Tracker, phone head tracking can sometimes drift in my experience, but your mileage may vary. Cameras. Standard webcams will not work out of the box with an IR emitter source. To make webcams work with an IR emitter, you will need to make a daylight filter at a minimum or buy a pre-configured camera with the IR filter removed along with the daylight filter. For smooth head tracking, webcams need a high frame rate. The most recommended camera to buy for this is the Sony PlayStation 3i, as this camera has a very high frames per second rating of 120. This camera is designed to track light emitters, making it perfect for head tracking. The PS3i needs driver software to make it work with the PC, and has a small cost involved in purchase. Some of the before mentioned trackers include these drivers in the purchase price, so do your research before buying. A daylight filter can easily be made by using pre-exposed and developed film, an old floppy disk, or a pre-made daylight filter used in photography. These are placed over the front of the camera to block out the visible light and only allow through infrared light. Anywhere between two to six layers of film may be required to filter out all the daylight, leaving only the IR lights visible to the camera. The PS3i camera can also be bought pre-modified as a plug and play option. Eye tracking devices, such as the Toby iX or SteelSeries Sentry, aren't currently directly supported, but eye tracking with the use of FaceTrack No IR can be used to simulate the Track IR function. How well this works, though, I cannot say, as I have not tried it myself. Software FaceTrack No IR is by far the most cost effective head tracking solution on the market. FaceTrack No IR uses facial recognition and tracking without the need for infrared emitters of any type, eliminating that part of the cost involved. This means that all you need to start using head tracking is a webcam. That's it. FaceTrack No IR when using face tracking has a disadvantage of requiring your face to be well lit. This means that tracking in low light is almost impossible. Face tracking in general can be temperamental, with the software sometimes losing the player's face, resulting in strange head tracking movements. Face track no IR can also be used with infrared or gyroscopic head trackers. To use an IR emitter requires the use of a plug-in called Point Tracker. 
Point Tracker still uses FaceTrack No IR's software interface, but now looks for the three points of light from an IR emitter source instead of your face. OpenTrack is another open source tracking software that is partnered with TrackHat and is working to constantly improve tracking and lower CPU usage. OpenTrack requires the use of a camera and an IR emitter or a gyroscopic tracker like EdTrack. OpenTrack uses the same Point Tracker plugin as FaceTrack No IR for IR tracking. OpenTrack does not work with face tracking. FreeTrack is the granddaddy of the group and all previous software has the option to use FreeTrack's protocol. The FreeTrack protocol essentially mimics Track IR's protocol, passing the information to the game as if it was Track IR. FreeTrack also requires an IR emitter along with a webcam to work. Although FreeTrack is the original, it does not currently appear to be being developed. Track IR is great, but if you're looking for a less expensive alternative, there are other options available that are close to and in fact may be as good as the more expensive Track IR product. Links to everything that I have talked about today can be found in the description. Head tracking can make your experience more immersive and can improve your situational awareness dramatically, whether maneuvering around asteroids or finding your next target. Good hunting pilots. For more information on how spacecraft systems work in Star Citizen, please refer to the spacecraft flight manuals found on the RSI website. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.